Hi everyone, welcome to this quick video where we're going to take a look at Autodesk Robot Structural Analysis Professional 2022 and Dynamo. Okay, so what we'll do here is just start a new building project. Okay, you can now see that we have that new project started. And the first thing we'll do is run up Dynamo. So you can actually access this via the add-ins ribbon. Now, if you want to know how to install this because this is a separate installation, then you can just take a look at my blog post that accompanies this video. But here you can see I've got this installed already, so we'll now run up Dynamo. This works a bit different from the Revit application. Uh, within Revit, Dynamo actually runs up inside of Revit, but in the robot version, Dynamo runs up as a separate application. Okay, so this is the main Dynamo interface, and you can see here that I've already got a script here called Boom, so I'll open this one up. Okay, so the script is now open. Before we do anything else, we'll just actually run the script. So I'm going to switch here to the 3D view, and then we'll just go back into our Dynamo pr product. And here you can see that I've got run set to manual mode. So I'll just click run here. And we can now see the truss has been modeled. So going here, we can zoom up on this. Uh, just to review the section sizes here, I'll switch the section sizes on inside robot. And there's our truss. Okay, so let's now make some changes to this. So we'll go into the inputs here. So let's say that I wanted to increase the truss length a little bit in here. I'll just press F5 here to execute the Dynamo script and you'll see that truss gets a bit longer. Uh, if we reduce the panel quantity, going in here, press F5 to rerun the script and there we are. Okay, so let's now take a look at the Dynamo script in a bit more detail here so you can see how this is actually working. Well, if we look at the node library first, we can see that we've got all of the default nodes that we would get with the sandbox version of Dynamo. So these are the standard tool sets that come with any version of Dynamo. And then we have this add-on here for structural analysis. And this is the bit that's actually connecting to robot. So if we go to model, for example, in here, and then we went to analytical bar, you can see here that I've got a variety of different tools to create our analytical bars. It can be by line, by points, by curves, and so on. Let's also look at loading. So if I go to loads in here, you can see again, if I went to a nodal load, I could place that by nodes, by points and so on, and then actually attribute forces to each of those nodal loads. And of course, as you would expect, we can also access the results from here as well. So in my case, I might want to access the bar results and then we could go to potentially bar forces in here, and then get the minimum and maximum values, extreme values and so on. So let's now take a look at the script in a bit more detail over here. So you can see I've got some simple slider bars here to set the panel quantity, the truss length, truss height, and truss width. What I'm doing in here is then using some code blocks um, just to actually take that width and divide it by two here and then give me the negative of that on the opposite side. So that's actually creating these two nodes here. Then what I'm doing here is when I select this particular node here, you can see that that's then creating those points over here. So I've got the three points that make up that triangular section. And then what we can do in there is then create our main boom. Now to do this, what we're doing is we're taking those three points and we're using a line by a direction and a length. So the direction is along the X axis in this case. And of course, the length is directly fed from this slider bar over here. What this node is doing is then actually dividing up the line into separate panel pieces. So you can see here that I've then got curve pointer parameter. And in this case, I've said, well, actually, what I want to do is have a parameter from zero to one with this many items. So QTY is the variable for quantity, which is fed by this little slider over here. And then what that's doing is creating those points. What we can then do is then start to actually create poly curves between those points. And you can see I'm using quite a few different nodes here to shift indices. So that's giving me these diagonal bracing members over here because you can see that I'm actually uh, shifting the index of the list back or forwards one. And also there I'm dropping certain items. And essentially what then happens is we have poly curves as outputs over here. So as I select these, you can see that Dynamo then highlights these poly curves over here. Right, so. Then what we're doing is using some of the robot functionality. So here you can see I'm creating an analytical bar by curves. And you can see here that I can simply set the section size from this little pull down list. And then finally, we're actually then creating the analytical bar with this particular section attributed to it. So it's a real simple script and it was really just to test some of the functionality from within robots. Okay, hope you found that useful and speak to you soon.